What's going on, people? In this video, we're going to be talking about the new Unreal Engine 5 preview. Today, Epic Games released a new version of Unreal Engine 5. That being said, I guess 3 5 is now out of early access and is now in preview. This means usually that the actual release for UE5 might be a couple of months away, which is pretty exciting stuff. So that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this here. If you want to see uh, the changes about this version, you can click on it and read over it. But I am curious about the path tracing that they added, hardware ray tracing for Lumen. And I am going to try and see if I can get my project loaded in this new version because I actually have Zin, my CG animation, on hold because there's some broken things in the previous version of Unreal. So well, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to go to Epic Games Launcher and let's go to my library here. And if you notice right away, you're going to see there is a new engine version click on that plus button and after that click on this arrow click on five preview and then go ahead and install okay so five business days later i am finally done compiling shaders so here we are in unreal engine 5 preview number one we have our character seiko here now like i said uh there's only a couple of things i'm kind of excited about here uh one of them is actually path tracing now before path tracing doesn't work with groom hair hair wise whenever i tried it you know the characters would go bald so let's take a look at that real quick if i go to edit project settings make sure ray tracing it is on and i'm pretty sure it is now we've got ray tracing here and ray tracing right here and path tracing is right here as well let's make sure there are rhi is also at direct x12 okay so that's good and i think compute cache that's also enabled okay so that's good and to turn it on on the viewport is actually pretty similar to 4.27 go to lit and then path tracing and now you're gonna see that the hair is actually there the hair doesn't go away anymore in 4.27 when i tried this at least as soon as i enabled path tracing the hair the groom would disappear now she has a black eye kind of like a devil eye right now and that's because occlusion right now is not supported as far as I know. So if I go to her mesh, so your LOD sections right here. If I go to LOD zero and I turn off occlusion. Again, if you see something that I'm doing wrong, just let me know, because this is fairly new. I'll save it right now and it should actually uh, compile some stuff right here. If I minimize this to see that the eye is actually supported. Now I tried rendering this in path tracing and this looks really good, um, but I was not able to get it to work using the movie render queue. I'm definitely going to be doing some tests here. What looks good is that the hair looks like it is supported. So that is a good sign. But again, uh, I'm waiting for maybe official documentation on how to render this properly using ray tracing and path tracing. And if I go to the post process volume here, as you can see, I have it turned on. If you go to the path tracing right here, you're going to see I have this turned on right here. I can increase the volume. Uh, if I can increase the sample per pixel and stuff like that. But again, that affects the uh, actual viewport right here. And I'll reset that for now. And let's go ahead and go to lit mode again. Uh, right now, obviously, <laughs> lit mode looks a lot better until I figure out what's going on with that path tracing. Because as you all know, I'm using Omniverse right now because of the path tracing. It's just amazing. Another thing that I am curious to see uh, I had to put Zinville or Zin on hold because of the tall skeleton kind of messed up in the previous versions. So I'll have uh, Gary here. So you can see he's a lot taller because he's a tall skeleton. I will just hide Seiko for now and I'll kind of put Gary in the spotlight here. Let's turn off, you know, turn on my light a little bit better here. So this is 1073. Let's put it at 10 so you can kind of see him here. All right, so if I add him now into the level sequence, I'll do a test two. In the previous version, whenever I bake him to a control rig, he kind of grows bigger. So that's why I haven't been finishing the movie. Um, and I'm hoping this version would fix that. So I'll bake it to the control rig real quick. And no, it doesn't look like it fixed it. It actually went the other way. Now he looks looks a lot smaller. All right, so that's that kind of sucks. Um, do me a favor, if y'all out there, go ahead and get a tall skeleton, tall meta human body, and see if you can bake the control rig similar to what I just did. And as you can see, I control Z it. So now it's shrinking it. It looks like 
So that's that kind of sucks. I'm bummed out there. Okay, so that's pretty much it with the preview one. Um, just wanted to show you all how to install it pretty much and uh, show you how it looks. It looks like there's a couple of UI changes as well. They changed here, here with the create and stuff like that. Uh, you can still type here if you want to, so that's always good. You can do the post-processing right there. If y'all have any questions, like always, let me know, and I'll see y'all later.